Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath announced during Diwali celebrations at Ayodhya that its Faizabad district will be renamed Sri Ayodhya. Last month, Allahabad in UP was reverted to its original name Prayagraj. Adityanath also announced a medical college in Ayodhya named after King Dasratha and Purushottam Bhagavan Ram Airport. South Korean First Lady Kim Young-suk also began her India tour offering tribute at the Queen Hill Memorial and attending a groundbreaking ceremony for the upgrade and beautification of the Ayodhya Memorial. A large number of Koreans trace their ancestry to Princess Suratna of Ayodhya, who traveled to Korea and married King Kim Suro and became Queen Hyohwang Ok 2000 years back. Anatomy of a Targeted Anti-Hindu Attack The planned elimination of Shabrimala Temple by anti-Hindu forces requires a relentless persecution and programmed confusion about the truth of the temple and its deity, thereby segregating, isolating, and vilifying Shabrimala, setting the justification grounds for its destruction ultimately creating a fear psychosis by projecting Lord Ayappan of Shabrimala to be a threat against the public interest human ideology. We see the beginnings of this attack of isolation in the Times of India published article by writer Sudha Nambudri. She quotes others and segregates Lord Ayappan of Shabrimala as a marginalized guardian deity. In fact, telling he comes from a serpent grove. She gives him a political bias, citing influences of the 17th century Pandalam king, and frames Lord Ayappan of Shabrimala as a Jain cult, suggesting he never had any ties to Hinduism. Segregate, isolate, mix fact with lies, repeat, repeat, repeat. Relentless persecution, the isolation attack and planned elimination of Lord Ayappan of Shabrimala. We'd like to end today's Hinduism Now capsule with a fundamental principle of inquiry in Hinduism. Adhato Brahma Jignasa. Let us now inquire into the ultimate truth.